Hi and welcome back to M's Den. We are Paul and Marie. And this is our turning 10 old toys into £2,000 challenge. Yes, welcome back to our challenge video. Yes, week 33, huh? 33. Woo, can you believe we've been doing this 33 weeks we've been doing this for? Whose bright idea was I this? I know, I know. Slap me next on. But um, we are feeling a bit more peppy this week. So sorry last week. When we watched it back, we weren't very happy with it, were we? No. We were coughing and spluttering and oh, just sounding rough, looking rough. Yeah. We still look rough, but we are feeling much better, <laughs> aren't we, Hum? We are feeling a lot better. We've still got, still got a little bit of a cough, but um, we're, we're getting there, so um, yes. that's good. And thank you to everyone who wished us well. Mm. It's very kind. So, should we get on with it, Hum? Yes, Week let's get 33. on with it. We don't want to hold these people for too long. No, that's it. If you're new to this um, type of video, um, <clears throat> we are a reselling couple in the UK. We have a daughter who will be 21 in June this year, and last June we started this challenge. Uh, a year-long challenge to try and raise £2,000 from 10 of her, of her old, old toys. toys. That's not easy to say, honey. <laughs> so we put 10 listings on eBay, six of them have sold, four just do not want to go, do they? No, no, um, that's it. I've tried, I'm trying. I'm yeah, chipping away, they but don't, they, um, they, they... just don't want to go. No, so, so really, it's the six <laughs> toys into 2000. <laughs> it is, yeah. So six have sold, and from the money that we, you know, the profit we got from that, we've invested it into shoes and clothing, because that's the, the challenge to us, to learn about shoes and clothing. And as of this point in the video we have bought 178 items we have sold 64 items we currently have 114 items listed on ebay and hun what don't you do the big kitty reveal the big kitty reveal really very small this week haven't i yeah 173 pounds of one pence and those 114 items hun what's the listing value 2697 pounds and 60 pence now we were let loose on saturday we mm. took emily dancing yeah. We had a couple of hours, didn't we? And we went to four charity shops and we've been buying. Hum. We have. We've been buying a lot. Um, bits no, and pickings, no, but, but we have bought some items which we're going to go through, hun, aren't we? Yes, we are. Start with those shoes. Now, these shoes, hun. <coughs> Excuse me, <clears throat> sorry. I spotted these in a charity shop for a fiver. They're in really good condition. They're um, leather, leather uppers, leather um, soles. And I thought, oh, they're nice sort of brogue style shoes. They'd be yeah. worth a fortune, hun. What I didn't see is inside them, they're the best of British range for, for M&S. Oh, right. So they're not worth quite as much as I'd <laughs> hoped. But they are very nice ladies' but, shoes. They're a size four. So not a big size, hun. So we'll probably have them for blooming ages. But we paid £5 and we'll be listing them for £22.99, hun. So if we get £20, we'll be well, yeah. clapping I mean, our hands, won't we? Yeah, it's still not bad, is it? Well, so. Not bad. Cool. Then we're going to move on to this jacket. Sometimes you see something, it was half price, down to £3. I didn't know the name, but I thought it looked a bit of quality. It's called a Pro Quip, which apparently is a golfing um, sort of range. It's a men's sort of um, lightweight jacket. Sorry, I'm not displaying this very right, well. You're doing a good job there, my love. It's extra large. <laughs> it was £3, and how much going to be putting up for £29.99? So it was worth getting that, wasn't it? Yeah. Nice, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah. I never heard of Pro Quip, but now I know. Did you give the size on this? I did, extra oh. large. I know. It's like a lightweight sort of um, it's, it's water nice. type yeah. Yeah, it jacket, nice. isn't it? Then we're going to move on to this is our dress hung. This was £3 and is a size large. It's, yep. I think it's long enough to be a maxi dress. It's very pretty. Oh, Christ, it is long, isn't it? It's long, isn't it? It's got a sort of, um, sort of floral pink and, and red um, like roses really it's very pretty not you could wear it now i don't think i think a bit, bit oh no bit no, no. Chilly now, but um springs are coming isn't it it is coming yes yeah nice isn't it mm. so then we've got a quiz dress hun that we also paid three pound for this is a bit of a party season dress it's a size 14 it's um covered with sequins on the front it's very pretty <laughs> how do i hold this That's one it. you're doing a good job there that goes around the neck Look at that, lovely. What colour would you say? That's sort of a burgundy colour, would uh, you say that? Purpley, Purpley, more purpley plummy, 
Plummy. Plum, plummy. Yeah. yeah we've plummy. Got two or three different colours there, hun. That's good. <laughs> it's burgundy, plummy, yeah. purpley. I always struggle with sort of that colour. Yeah. I don't anyway, know come out on the camera either. we've got a Bendelisi dress. Now I thought, oh, is this some sort of designer? Oh. But it turns out it's not worth as much as I perhaps would have no, hoped. Which way it is was only three pound though. It's a size twelve. So it's a gorgeous right. dress. It needs a bit of a clean though, so I have to have a go at that. But isn't it lovely, hun? Mm. Nice, um, pretty dress, and we're going to put that up for twenty two ninety nine. So that sort of concludes, hun, what we've bought then. Not a lot, but we only paid seventeen pound for those. What was that? Five items. So that's not too yeah. bad. Breaking news, though, hun. Yes. What have we sold? I don't know. Not much. <laughs> <laughs> We've sold a Rosher, John Rosher men's pair of jeans. Um, they sold for £12.91. Now we bought, we bought, we bought these items for a pound originally. Yeah. Um, so what we do in this challenge is we take off the fees and we take off the postage. And what we're left with is £7.87. But that does include that initial pound. So we've used the pound to buy it. So the so pounds go back in, isn't it? Yes, that's it. So that's 787 back into the kitty. And then we have this Evans Sparkly cardigan that we showed just before Christmas, I think. Um, we sold it for £19.50. It was a large size, I remember, and um, very, very popular. Had a lot of people asking about it. Yeah. We paid £3 for it. It was new with tags. Sold for £19.50. And the profit there is £13.33 going back into the kitty. Why don't you reveal the profit from this week? Uh, so from this week's £21.20. Oh, it's going to take us a while to get that yes, £2,000 this way, I'm starting huh? to get a little worried. I know, a yeah, little, yeah. little bit worried. <laughs> so as of um, this moment in time, we have now bought 183 items. We have sold 66 items. We have 117 items. And now let's do the kitty hunt. So we mm. start off with £173 and a penny. Mm. Yep. And uh, we, we spent the £17. Spent pound. £17 pound on those five items. Which gives us 156.01, and then we add on the 21 pounds 20 from the profit of the two sales, gives us 177.21 in the kitty. Not too bad, is it, hun? Yeah. This is the new listing value for Ooh, all of those items. 2,789 pounds and 14 pence. If only we could sell a few more, hun, we'd be laughing, wouldn't we? We would. So that would. sort of concludes where we are for the turning 10 old toys into 2,000 pounds mm. challenge. And now we're going to move on to Miss A. Now, Miss A, if you're new to these videos, is a lovely lady that sent us a box of 30 high-end branded yeah. um, clothing. Yeah, so kind. And over time, we've been selling them and using the money, investing it to buy more clothes and shoes. Yeah. And as it stands at this moment, we have bought 221 <laughs> items. We have sold 97 items. We currently have 205 items listed on eBay. Um, the kitty hun, it's a big one. Three hundred and sixty-seven pounds. Spot and the on. Listing value, hun, of those two hundred and five items. It's three thousand five hundred and seventy-two pounds and twenty-two pence. So it's building quite nicely. It is. Now again, nicely. we've been out, haven't we, hun? Been out mm. spending. Yeah. And that pile there. This pile here. That's it. Let's have a swig of <coughs> pounds. Excuse me. <coughs> Lubricate the throat a bit. Yeah. Now these, hun, are. Clark's men's shoes. I think they're called Flexi Light. We've sold a few of these, haven't we? With the yeah. um, with the old hook and loop system. <laughs> hook and loop. <laughs> no one knows what that means. Do no, they? Hook I and know. loop is ridiculous. You can't use Velcro. Oh, no. um, but there you go. These um, are lovely lightweight men's shoes. They are six H. Something to do with wideness, isn't it? That. Yeah. They were two pound, and we we oh, we will be listing them for twenty two ninety nine. Can't can't talk properly today, hun. <laughs> Today? <laughs> Today. <laughs> I'm putting it down to being ill. It's yeah. maybe a bit, a bit wonky. <laughs> mm. So now we're going to move on, hun, to an Amy Child's dress. And I know you're going to say who. Yeah. She was some, I don't know, she was a reality TV star, wasn't she, Amy Child's? I think she still is. I do, I do um, sort of know the name, but yeah. I, I can't picture her now. don't know what quite she was from, but she's yeah. famous. Um, this is a size 16. It's a lovely sort of bodycon dress. We paid three pound and we'll be putting up for nineteen ninety nine. Is that mm. like a purpley colour? Purple it is. And black, I yeah. think it's um, it's coming nice, more isn't? out on the camera, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. I'll fold this one up. Oh yeah, that's it. Lovely. I don't normally fold them up. No, you normally screw them up and put them in a heap. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing well there, huh? <laughs> the next one then we've got this lovely regatta body warmer. This is three XL, so quite a nice size. It's three pound. I'm going to put it up for 18.99, hun. I don't know if it's going to get that, but we're going to give it a go. Yeah. 
I think it's the sizing that might help that cell. Yes, do you say it's 3XL? 3XL, yeah. Oh, all right. Nice size. Mm, decent size. So we've now got this Zara jacket, hun. This is a this is a size large. It's like a sort of a just that's a dusty pink colour. It's difficult to know, isn't it, whether that's a fawny colour or a dusty pink. It's my eyes, oh, so it's, yeah. No, my sort initial of, thing, I would have said peach, but it's, it's, it's sort of like not, a beigey it? pink. It's a beige. <laughs> yeah, I know. I always struggle with the colours when I'm listing. Um, but this was three pound, and we'll be listing up for eighteen ninety nine. If we can decide what colour it is, that is. That's it, yeah. <laughs> I might have to have a look on the, their website to see if it see can what get they, a picture and yeah. see if someone else has got it up or something. Yeah, that's it. Then we've got these um, sort of velvety style, um, brand new with tagged leggings from M&S. Um, they were £3. They were size 20, so quite a nice size. And we're going to put those up for £16.99. Nice, aren't they? Mm. It takes, it takes me too long to fold. That's no, you're all right, hon. You're doing a good job. <laughs> That's my excuse why I screw them up and throw them over there. Yeah. You're being efficient, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> now, this is a jacket we took a punt on, hon, in the charity shop. It yeah. is a denim um, fleece-lined, um, and the brand is Fashion American Legend. I've never heard of it before. But no. this, hun, is a 6XL. 6XL, hun. Never seen a 6XL. It's got the uh, sort of one embroidered on the back, isn't it? Well? It's nice though because it's got like the fur on the cuffs. Mm. It's nice, isn't it? It's, it actually feels lovely. Do you say it was 6XL? Yeah. Mm. Now, when I looked into it, because I'd never heard of it before, but when I looked into it, they are selling them sort of new. Um, so it's it's not worth as much as I would have hoped. Oh, really? But it, it cost £3. Pound, and I'm going to put it up for twenty two ninety nine. If we can get around the £20 mark. It's yeah. in good condition. I think we'd be um, we'd be laughing there. Yeah, I mean, it, is, it does feel lovely. So as it stands at this moment, um, we've what have we bought there. We've bought six items, hun, but but we've spent exactly the same money as we spent on the other challenge, seventeen pound. Have we really? Yeah, it's crazy, that now. Yeah. So now we're going to move on to breaking news, hun. Have we actually sold anything for Miss A's I'm challenge? Sure we have. We normally sell something for Miss A. We, we didn't mention that Miss A's challenge is to give Emily the spending money yes. for the holiday that we didn't mention was the reason we're doing the whole ch the whole challenge in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> we forgot yes. that at the beginning. Uh, so sorry about that. Um, yeah. So yes, this is the spending money, and it's um, doing well, isn't it? It is. Yeah. No, we decided to split the, the have a separate have chance a race against Miss each a other. Was so kind to send these these over, mm. and um, yeah, we decided to sort of run the two challenges. Side Compete by side. against myself. Yeah. Compete um, against yourself. But to yeah, be honest, so. I've lost from the beginning. Yes. <laughs> because every week Miss A does better than I yeah. do. <laughs> so um, again, with the sales, Miss A sold five things this week. Um, she's always showing me up. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to move on. We've got this lovely um, anthology dress, which we bought for £3 and sold for £12.63. So some of these prices are a bit weird because we did have a sale on, didn't we, Um Yes. So, yes which is did, now yes. finished, but yeah. um, that's why we've sold a few things, I think. Yeah. So we paid £3. We sold it for £12.63, taken off the fees and the postage, and the profit is £8.17. So then we've got this gorgeous Hobbs green and white blouse, hun, that we paid a pound for. Mm. Woo! Um, this sold for twelve sixty three on offer or on sale. Again, £18.17 profit. Now we've got something here. This is um, quite an early number, hun, so quite early on in the challenge. Oh, yes. And um, these are Ruby Shoe shoes. They were a size three, but they, they were lovely sort of a tweed yeah. style. Very good condition. They cost £5 and we sold them for £20.99p. The profit on that one, hun, was £14.57. Excellent. Which is quite a nice that. They did take a little while to sell because they're quite a small size, but yeah. we didn't mind holding on for that sort of profit, did we? Yeah. So we've also got a sea salt dress. This is quite a um, quite a new one. This we bought for £6 and it sold for £26. And we had a profit of £18.26p. If only we could get more of those sea salt dresses. Yes. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me, hun. So now we're moving on to the last item, which is a cotton trader's mustard top that we, we paid for £3 and we sold for £15, giving us a profit of £9.33. So, hun, you move on to the profit while so I have a drink. So profit that's going back, in, <coughs> back, into, <laughs> back into the kitty. <laughs> 
is £58.50. So, so at this got? moment in time, hun, we have bought 227 items, we have sold 102 items, we have 206 items currently listed or will be listed soon. Yeah. Um, now, why don't you run us through the kitty, hun? The kitty. So, um, we started out, didn't we, with uh, £367. Then we take off the £17 that we purchased our six items mm. for. Um, gives us £350. Then we add on the £58.50 from the profit of the um, the sales we had. Gives us a kitty of £408.50. That's the most it's ever been, hun. It is. It's the building, isn't it? Yeah, that's fantastic. What's the listing value, though, of those 206 items? <clears throat> it's £3,605. Excuse me. <coughs> I'm doing it now. £306... <laughs> I'll, I'll get it right in a minute. <laughs> Go on, you're doing really well. £3,605.91 <clears throat> of listings that we've got currently on yeah, eBay. Yeah, you've just got to sell them, haven't we? Yeah, That's I know. what we've got to do now, I mean, sell them. when you look at the combined listing value, yeah. what are we talking there? So it's, it's over £6,000. Six, £6, so, yeah. Of it stock. Is six, maybe six and a half, getting, yeah. Getting towards that, I think. Yeah. So that's sort of where we are with the challenge side of the video. Mm. But now we're moving on to the very exciting one, isn't it? Very exciting. This you, can everyone, turn, you can turn off now. This is what everyone's tuned in for, hun. It's the research. Yeah. What has she looked at this week? After, could I better our, was it our men's trousers, trousers. special? Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, this week I thought I'd surprise you all by going above that £20 mark that we harp on about in all of our videos. Mm. So this week I've chosen two people um, where... It's quite surprising, hun. The, 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 the prices of some of their stuff is mm. quite surprising. So okay. I've focused on two people. Um, so we are starting with Margaret Howell, is a contemporary British clothing designer, established in 1970 and incorporated in 1987. Margaret, ha Margaret Howell Limited is an internationally recognised design company with more than 100 shops and concessions, including London, Paris, Florence, and throughout Japan. Never heard of Margaret Howell. No. Um, but when you see some of the prices, you'll know why we haven't. It's not the okay. sort of thing we would be buying, hun. It's not the sort of thing in our charity shops, is it? Well, I'm <laughs> hoping we're going to find some at these prices. <laughs> um, not a lot have sold on a daily basis, but um, just to give you an idea, 12 pre-owned items sold on the 16th of January, so only 12. Um, but the prices range from £20, that was something that was on an auction, which is mm. mainly they do go for lower on yes, auction. They yeah, don't always achieve their, no, their, their, their accurate value. Um, <clears throat> so £20 to £179. So we'll be looking at those £179 oh, yes. time, won't we? Yeah. So shall we go through what um, what has sold recently for Margaret Howell? Um, just bear in mind, all the things I'm going to show you now are pre-owned. <clears throat> Excuse me, we're going to start with this checked wool shift dress hun that sold for £85 with £6.45 postage. Had six bids to get to that, so this went for that price even on auction. £85, yeah. pounds, that's not bad, is it? Mm -hmm. Then we have a lovely corduroy jacket, size 10 women's. This went for £145.99 with £4.45 postage and got five bids to get to 145.99 so quite a strong brand yeah yeah definitely then we're going to move on to a size small linen cotton blend jumper this jumper hun achieved 50 pounds and 3.99 so that's not bad is it for a jumper i mean these are strong prices aren't they they, they are <coughs> oh excuse me you're not going to believe this hun dungarees is the next thing i've chosen <laughs> extra small Dungarees, £180, £4.45 postage. So this is definitely a name we'll be looking out for, Margaret oh, yeah. Howell. Margaret Howell. And then we're going to finish with a navy um, navy wool trousers, hun, £117 and £4.45. And just bear in mind, these are all pre-owned prices. Mm. <coughs> wow. It's crazy, that, isn't it? Mm. We're just having a last sip. The last sip. Just try really and get, get through the next out. bit. No, I'll be all right, thanks. We're almost there now, hon. We've just got the last one to do, and then we can have a big old coffee, can't big we? Big coffee. Big old definitely. coffee to celebrate. Yeah. So the next one we're going to move on to is one that I've, again, not heard of. Mm. Um, I love the name, though. It's Cabbages and Roses. What a great <laughs> name for a company. 
Cabbages and Roses was founded by ex-Vogue girl Christina Strutt in 2000. It is an independent family-run business based in Somerset which specialises in British-made fashion, printed fabrics and lifestyle goods for the home. Sounds good, doesn't it? Mm. So, again, not many items have sold on a daily basis, but what is selling is selling for really good money. So, on the 16th of January, four pre-owned items sold. And the prices, um, we've got three things, sorry, four of them. Um, one of them sold for 13 33 but that was um, on 35 <laughs> I have a problem with the numbers, don't I, Han? I read, I read what is not there. 13 35 but that one on auction. But then the others, Han, we've got um, £258.95, £249. The £249 item, Han, had 47 bids. Wow. That was popular, wasn't it? Mm. So we're going to start with this 47 bid item. Yeah. Um, it was £245. That must be different. Is that different or have I written the wrong number down? <laughs> well, it's all going to pot, hun. It's all going to pot. This is a dress. Um, it was... Now, when the when you see the picture, you'll see the tag. It was a, a used item, but it had only been worn once. So I think the person very cleverly kept the tag. Because mm. it's one that you can tie back on. And oh, put it in the okay. photo, so yeah. it is it is a pre-owned item, but it's only been worn once. I think that's why it was so popular. Yeah, yeah. Um, because it achieved two hundred and forty-five pound plus five fifty. <clears throat> that's why it's two hundred and forty. I've added them up, hum. No, but that still wouldn't work out. Oh, you sh you shouldn't have jumped in there, should you? <laughs> I shouldn't have jumped in. <laughs> I've added up, added up wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna carry on. Gloss over that. No one's, no, over. No one's noticed. On. They've not noticed that, but I can't add up. <laughs> so we're gonna move on to a navy blue jacket called Edward um, that had one bid, but sold for two hundred and fifty pounds and eight pound ninety five postage. It's not bad, is it? Christ. <laughs> then we've got a skirt. Um, now I like this one because. The, the description just said cabbages and roses skirt. That was the description. That was it. That was the description, yeah. Um, but they still got fifty pounds for that skirt with six pound ninety five postage. Christ, how many could you list if you're just doing a brief description like that? I mean, the, it, the skirt it did sell itself. Um, yeah. Very static hair today, honey. It's really blowing in my face and annoying me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to carry on, hun. I'm carrying on. Carry on, on. professional. So, now we've got a tartan coat, hun. This one's worth mentioning. This sold for three hundred and twenty-five pounds and eight pound ninety-five postage. Three hundred something pounds. We're never going to find any of these at the charity shop, are we? No, we're going to be looking, though, aren't we? We are. I mean, we'll remember that name definitely. Definitely, cabbages and roses. Yes. <laughs> so then we're going to finish, hun, on a tunic top. Now this is just a stripy. When you see the picture, hun, you won't believe it. You'll think I've put the mm. wrong picture up. It's a stripy cotton top, and it went for sixty-five pounds plus three ninety-nine. So crazy when you when you see the pictures, you won't quite believe the prices and think yeah. you think I've got it wrong, mm. which is something I never do. <laughs> but that sort of concludes the two that we are looking at this week. Two mm. that we've learnt about, hum. Yeah, it's, um, it's difficult trying to remember the names. That's the the main main thing. I mean, yes. this one, for instance, cabbages and roses. I'll probably be I'll probably remember cauliflower and daffodils <laughs> yes. or something stupid like that. Um, but. <laughs> I think, you know, if if these items are worth that much, will they actually be at our charity shops? I don't know. But it's something to look out for. And hopefully mm. if you're in, a, in an area where, um, you know, people have got so much money that they're donating £300 items, then, um, you know, good luck. Good luck finding them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but it's another couple of names to look out for. We've aimed a little bit higher this week than our normal £20 bracket. Yes. Because you do need to learn about these things, don't you? And, oh, yeah, um, yeah, definitely. It's yeah. always good to look out for new names. So hopefully you can find them in your charity shops. Mm. So that, I think, concludes. Um, yeah, I think we need to wrap um, up and get that coffee we, going. We do huh? need to get that coffee going. I mean, it's, it's, it's going well. It's building. But like I say, we are sort of hoping that as soon as the nicer weather comes. Yeah. Because that's our, mm. our issue is that we've got more summer gear. Yes. Than, um, than anything else. A lot of short sleeve um, shirts going on, haven't we? Yeah, so that, that, that's um, that's what we're sort of hoping on, really, is that because it is it is worrying where you see it creeping up. Yeah. But um, yeah. But yeah, twenty twenty one pound twenty of profit is not enough to to get us to our two thousand pound. 
No. In the summer, so we need to. No, um, but we've got a lot, a lot of value in lot the stock. items that are listed. Mm. So, so we have got to figure out a way of getting them moving, and we just, we just hope that the weather's going to come in and you know, nice help weather and help us out there, really. But, mm. but yeah. So yeah. So there we are. There we are. Yes. As always, thanks ever so much. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time to watch our challenge video. And if you liked our content, please like and subscribe to our channel. Subscription is free. You just press the little red subscribe button. Oh. <laughs> <I did that>. <laughs> <laughs> and the bell icon as well. And then you'll be notified for our future videos. Thanks for watching. Thank you.